before we can get started, we're going to do an unboxing. Let's get started this one. How lovely. I don't usually get paper that often. <laughs> Here it is. Hold on. for the second one. This one I'm more excited about. Actually, let's find a good way to do this. This might take a while, so bear with me. Oh good, there's a box inside. Alright. Here's a little quiz. Guess what's in this box? If you guessed a SHG, Yes, that's my panel. Still working that out. Alright. All that's left is to test these devices. Let's get started. So now that we have our device, here it is up on the board. I am very happy that I actually found this alarm, because again, this alarm is pretty rare. I did not mention that, did I? Well, it is. This is the first generation SHG. It's not like the second generation, which sounds like the Commander 3. And hey, look what we have next to it. The Commander 3. Since it is my first Gentex device, I figured why not. And yeah, I'll mention those in a minute. And right here we have the 
EST Genesis on the G1RT FIER, obviously fire, because this is a fire plate, the fire light lanes, and the G1R HV15, which I have tested before. Now, I do have pull stations that we are going to pull down today, and they are the first one. Yeah, still need to update this board one day. First pull station is a an FCI MS2. And what's right next to it? This is a really good pull station, by the way. So if you find one, good job, because they are pretty nice. Now, this one I have mentioned before. Originally, it was very hard to pull. And it almost was, to me, almost felt like it was non ADA, because it was just. I don't know, I guess it just need to loosen up or something. But just a quick reminder, these things are pretty hard to pull, and obviously their locks are very stiff, if you've seen many MS2 videos. But right next to that we have another MS2. Yep. So this is going to kind of be like System Test 13, maybe. But I am going to call this System Test 19.5, because technically we are technically testing the whole entire system. And these alarms and those. And what do I have next to the EST? Or Edwards? Well, you guessed it, if you did. 270-SPO. Yep. And yeah. And before we get started, let's just give you an update on the panel, which actually I did. It's still here. Working this out, I might be selling this panel um, just keep that in mind. Oh, and I am selling an alarm if you want to know. It, I'm selling a 2901-9806 if you f keep, if you bleh, see me on the fire panel forms, my username I have mentioned before, but if you don't know, it is f the fire alarm one, the fire alarm nine. There we go. All right. Um, enough rambling. And no, we are not doing a dual camera setup today. And one last thing, system test 20, um, it's going to be a while, because I'm still figuring out, I'm still waiting on the new devices to come, but, well, I need to get the new devices, that is, I don't, I don't, they're not coming, that is, but, um, for now, yeah, that's all I can say. Oh, and these two are now on the, crescent, the requested system test form. If I'm still allowing requests, don't get me wrong, I'm def I'll still be doing yours. I've done two requests already, surprisingly, and I have two more requests to do, but they're not gonna be done for a little while until system test 20 is done. But keep requesting, and you'll probably see yours pretty soon. Enough rambling. Um, since this is a first generation SHG, first off let me turn up the volume. Warning, the SHG is actually, well, it's very loud. So is the Genesis. Why is it not turning on? Oops. Come on. Come on, fan. There you go. Right. We are going to pull these pulsations down. So, let's start with this one first. Can you guess the coding? It's one that's not really common with modern fire alarms. They don't usually code to this that often. Which I kind of gave... Yeah. You know what? Enough talking. Let's just do this. In three, two, one. It's March time. It's March time time. <laughs> so this is the second alarm that I have that actually self-codes itself to March time. The, the other one being the MT, obviously. So 
yeah. The second generation command, sorry. The second generation SHG does not code itself to March time. It only has code three and continuous. And it sounds again, more like the Commander 3. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the SHG is is doing two wire functionality while the Commander 3 is doing four wire because this is only powering the strobe. This is powering both the strobe and the horn and I did two wire because I figured it's simpler. So I need to stop the video now and then we're going to get started with continuous. Be right back. Alright, I'm back and now we have changed the coding to continuous. Um, I'm pretty sure you already knew in the unboxing video that this Commander SHG was made in 1993. That rhymes, which is kind of funny. And the Commander 3 was made in 2003, which is kind of funny. And the EST, um, I don't know. Somewhere in the 2000s. Maybe the early 2000s, because this is technically considered a, I guess, pre-Genesis, because the sound sounds... To me, it, it sounds like a mix between a modern-day Genesis with the ear-piercingly loud sound and the integrity, which is also very loud, but... Yeah. Um, well... Let's pull the old MS2, because again, this is the new one, this is the older one. And let's stop talking so we can get this video through. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Without hearing protection, it is very loud. With hearing protection, it's good. It's not bad. But it's a good thing that it's loud. Because if it weren't loud, then why is it a f well... Fire alarms are meant to be loud, that is. Unless you're a mechanical horn, which then you're, you can be sometimes ridiculously loud. Alright, that's enough of that. But yeah. Um, Alright. Now I have one more alarm. And as most of you guys know, I have tested this alarm out before, which I will leave in the link below. That's my headphone cord. Link below. Um, only difference is, obviously, it's on a trim plate. So, this is very loud, just like the SHG. I don't know which one's louder, because I don't have a decibel meter, but they're both loud. So if you're ready, I am three, two, one. Still loud. I'm gonna go turn down the fan. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah. So this is, I would consider this System Test 19.5. Um, System Test 19 as mo as some, as, well, if you watch System Test 19, you would know that I had a special guest with me. Good old Zachary Fleck. And thanks again, Zachary Fleck, for joining me in that System Test. If you're joining me right now, um, well, then again, it was a bell, and actually, I think the bell would have been much louder than these two. Yeah. And then, that's it. Alright. Um, so yeah. Um, until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, System Test 20, still unknown. It will be here in the next few months, unless not stated so, and if it's not here in the next few months, well, guess we're, guess I'm going to have to create my own system for System Test 20, with alarms and such. But again, check out the requested System Test form, I am always accepting requests, at least at this time, because, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. 
And um, also check out the 2901-9806. Um, it should be there, obviously. It just says, it just has the parentheses rare B2 model. If you see that, then, well, that's my 9806. And I'm selling my other one because, as you know, I do already have a 9806. And they are both just ridiculously loud, as most of you guys know. So, I hope you enjoy this video. I might have already said that already, but that's just me trying to backtrack again. So, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.